Good evening and welcome to Messiah Lutheran Church on this Good Friday service of Tenebrae. We welcome you into this service of commemoration of Christ's death. As we come into this space, we remind you that Messiah Lutheran Church is a welcoming, affirming, and celebrating congregation of people of all ages, races, ethnicities, gender identities, sexual orientations, socioeconomic statuses and abilities. We come into worship this evening to remember the sacrifice that took place on that cross by our Lord Jesus Christ on that night over 2,000 years ago. On that night, our Lord was put to death at the hands of Pontius Pilate and the oppressive Roman government in opposition to the message of hope love and justice that Christ taught. As we come into the service, we are reminded of the ways we are called to follow this Christ in that pursuit, even unto death itself. As we enter into our service tonight, let us begin our evening of worship and commemoration with our opening sentences from Isaiah 53, verses 3 through 6. He was despised and rejected of all, a man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, and we hid our faces from him. He was despised and we knew him not. Surely Surely he has has borne borne our griefs and and carried our sorrows. Yet Yet we we knew him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded from our transgressions. He was bruised from our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. With his stripes, we are healed. All All we like like sheep sheep have gone gone astray. astray. We We have have turned turned each of us to our our own ways. And And God God has laid on him the iniquity of of us all. all. The watch. Then Jesus went with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be grieved and agitated. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake with me. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed. My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not what I want, but what you want. Then he came to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So could you not stay awake with me one hour? Stay awake and pray that you may not come into the time of trial. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away for the second time and prayed, My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink it, your will be done. Again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were heavy. So leaving them again, he went away and prayed for the third time, saying the same words. Then he came to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? See, the hour is at hand. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Get up, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. 
Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly, one of those with Jesus put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my Father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the Scriptures be fulfilled, which say it must happen in this way? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? Oh God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet you are holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In you our ancestors trusted, They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were saved. In you they trusted and were not put to shame. But I am a worm and not human, scorned by others and despised by the people. All who seek me mock at me. They make mouths at me. They shake their heads. Commit your cause to the Lord. Let him deliver. Let him rescue the one in whom he delights. Yet it was you who took me from the womb. You kept me safe on my mother's breast. Lord, you are my strength. Hasten to help me. Have mercy upon me, God, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. I acknowledge my transgressions and my sins are ever before me. Behold, I was raised in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts and in the hidden parts you shall make me to know wisdom. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. The betrayal. While he he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. With him was a large crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. 
Now the betrayer has given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Arrest him. At once he came up to Jesus and said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus said to him, Friend, do what you are here to do. Then they came and laid hands on Jesus and arrested him. Suddenly, one of those, Jesus, put his hand on his sword, drew it, and struck the slave of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Then Jesus said to him, Put your sword back into its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. Do you think that I cannot appeal to my father, and he will at once send me more than twelve legions of angels? But how, when would then would the scriptures be fulfilled, which said, it must happen in this way. At that hour, Jesus said to the crowds, have you come out with swords and clubs to arrest me as though I were a bandit? Day after day, I sat in the temple teaching, and you did not arrest me. But all this has taken place so that the scriptures of the prophets may be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Let us pray. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor chasten me in your displeasure. Have mercy mercy upon me, me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me in my my distress. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In the grave, who shall give you thanks? The Lord Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord Lord will receive my prayers. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, in whose house the scribes and the elders had gathered. But Peter was following him at a distance, as far as the courtyard of the high priest, and going inside, he sat with the guards in order to see how this would end. Now the chief priests and the whole council were looking for false testimony against Jesus so that they might put him to death. But they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last two came forward and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and build it in three days. The high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer? What is it that they testify against you? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I put you under oath before the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so. But I tell you, from now on you will see the Son of Man seated at the right hand of power and coming on the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has blasphemed. Why do we still need witnesses? You have now heard his blasphemy. What is your verdict? They answered, He deserves death. And they spat in his face and struck him. 
And some slapped him, saying, Prophesy to us, you Messiah. Who is that who struck you? Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came to him and said, You also are with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it before all of them, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. When he went out to the porch, another servant girl saw him, and she said to the bystanders, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. After a little while, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, Certainly you are also one of them, for your accent betrays you. Then he began to curse, and he swore an oath. I do not know the man. At that moment, the cock crowed. Then Peter remembered what Jesus had said. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. On you I was cast from my birth, and since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many bulls encircle me, Strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a raving and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My mouth is dried up like a potsherd, and my tongue sticks to my jaws. You lay me in the dust of death, for dogs are all around me. A company of evildoers encircles me. My hands and feet have shriveled. I can count all my bones. They stare and gloat over me. They divide my clothing among themselves. And for my clothing they cast lots. Lord, you are my strength. Hasten to help me. Hear my prayer. O Lord, and let my cry come unto you. Hide Hide not not your your face from me in the days when I am in trouble. trouble. Incline your ear unto me when I call. My days are like a shadow that wanes, and I am withered like the grass. But But you, you, O Lord, Lord, shall endure forever, and your remembrance unto all generations. The guilt, when morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people conferred together against Jesus in order to bring about his death. They bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate, the governor. When Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he repented and brought back the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. 
He said, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. But they said, what is that to us? See to it yourself. Throwing down the pieces of silver in the temple, he departed and he went and hanged himself. Blessed are they whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are concealed. Blessed Blessed are are they they unto whom whom the Lord punishes punishes not wickedness, and and in in whose spirit there there is is no deceit. The Lord is our hiding place. He shall protect us from trouble and shall surround us with songs of deliverance. Many Many sorrows sorrows shall shall be to the wicked, but but those who trust in the Lord shall receive mercy. judgment. That same day, Herod and Pilate became friends with each other. Before this, they had been enemies. Pilate then called together the chief priests, the leaders, and the people and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was perverting the people, and here I have examined him in your presence, and have not found this man guilty of any of your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us. Indeed, he has done nothing to deserve death. I will therefore have him flogged and release him. And they all shouted together, Away with this fellow, release Barabbas for us. This was a man who had been put in prison for an insurrection that had taken place in the city and for murder. Pilate, wanting to release Jesus, addressed them again, but they kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! Third time he said to them, Why? What evil has he done? I have found in him no ground for the sentence of death. I will therefore have him flog and release him. They kept urgently demanding with loud shouts that he should be crucified, and their voices prevailed. So Pilate gave his verdict that their demand should be granted. He released the man they asked for, the one who had been put in prison for insurrection and murder, and he handed Jesus over as they wished. But you, O Lord, do not be far away. O my help, come quickly to my aid. Deliver my soul from the sword, my life from the power of the dog. Save me from the mouth of the lion, from the horns of the wild oxen you have rescued me. 
I will tell of your name to my siblings in the midst of the congregation. I will praise you. You who fear the Lord, praise him. All you offspring of Jacob, glorify him. Stand in awe of him, all you offspring of Israel. For he did not despise or abhor the affliction of the afflicted. He did not hide his face from me, but heard when I cried to him. From you comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear him. The poor shall eat and be satisfied. Those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, and all the families of the nations shall worship before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. To him, indeed, shall all who sleep in the earth bow down. Before him shall bow down all who go down to the dust, and I shall live for him. Posterity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, saying that he has done it. Lord, you are my strength. Hasten to help me. Lord, you are my strength. Hasten to help me. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. In your faithfulness and in your righteousness, answer me. Enter, Enter not, not into judgment with, with your servant, for in your sight shall no man living be justified. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I fly unto you for safety. Teach, Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your, your spirit is good. Lead me into the land of righteousness. The crucifixion. As they led him away, they seized a man, Simon of Cyrene, who was coming from the country, and they laid the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A great number of the people followed him, and among them were women who were beating their breasts and wailing for him. But Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For the days are surely coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bear, bore, and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, cover us. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two others also, who were criminals, were led away to be put to death with him. 
when they came to the place that is called the skull. They crucified Jesus there with the criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing, and they cast lots to divide his clothing. O Lord, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your displeasure. For, For my iniquities are gone over my head, and as a heavy burden, I can bear them no more. I am troubled. I am bowed down greatly. I go mourning all the day long. I am, I am feeble and sore broken. broken. I have, I have cried out by reason of the, the disquietness of my heart. My heart pants. My strength fails me. The light of my eyes is gone from me. Forsake, Forsake me not, not O Lord. Lord. O my, my God, God, be not, not far from, from me. me. The Commendation One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him and saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation, and we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you today, you will be with me in paradise. It was now about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon while the sun's light failed and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, crying out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. When the centurion saw what had taken place, he praised God and said, Certainly, this man was innocent.
I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. <laughs>